Well, today I'm in an attic um, of about a 1950s home, and you can see the defrost development on the attic space here, on the on the roof sheathing in particular. Um, the problem here, and, and the problem with the old designed roofing structures, is that they didn't have any way to breathe at the eaves, and therefore as the heat rose up through the insulation, it would touch the sheathing and create uh, frost, like you see here. Um, in this particular case, there's enough heat, it's only about minus 10 out today, there's enough heat that it's actually melting the the frost on the inside. The frost isn't developing until it moves further away from the heat source. And what's happening here is the bottom of the top cord, or this, this piece up here, I zoomed in too far. This piece right here is starting to rot on the outside edge. So uh, you really need to prevent warm, moist air from rising up into the attic, in particular in a house of this vintage, because there's no way for the air to get moved away before this frost starts to develop and you get water in the walls and ice damming on the roof.